so a week and a half later <laughs> here we are <laughs> okay pause a minute <laughs> editing Krista here the video you're about to see is not gonna make any sense unless I give you a little background last uh, Sunday I posted a video and that video was actually made right before I left on a long trip <laughs> so I was rushing around. I thought I'd put together a video of Jay uh, painting, do a tour of the yard, put it on, you know, edit it, put it on, and uh, get it up for you while I was gone on my trip. But in the chaos of leaving and trying to pack and get everything all situated and get all my brides taken care of, I somehow lost some of the footage. So I went on my trip and uh, then all I thought I had was a little bit of Jay painting and so we were going to make the coffee time to just kind of add on to that video. But I found uh, the other tour and the other video and went ahead and posted it. So that little piece of information is going to help you understand our conversation. I had been on a long trip and uh, coming right back out of it. So. I'll let you continue watching this video. We never got the tour of the rest of the house, of the paint, and uh, I was rushing around because I was leaving out of town and trying to finish all my sewing. And uh, then I was gone for about over a week, and uh, you had quite the week too. Yeah, it was quite the adventure. <laughs> uh, we won't go into details on that, but <laughs> let's just say uh, we lost a uh, beautiful rug in our front room because of a dog. So, <laughs> our dog. Um, but uh, excuse the way I look. Um, I've been painting and I'm going to continue to paint mm -hmm. here a little bit. You saw the video of that side, uh, driveway side that Krista videoed. and uh, But she had a good time. She looks beautiful, of course. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's the short... Yeah, let's talk about this. I like it. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. I like to, your hair I don't, long. I don't know I, what to do cute. with it. It's shorter than I wanted it. Yeah. But it is what it is, and it's been nice and for the summer. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but I went on a trip to go see mm. my, sister. my sister in Washington, which was an amazing trip. Um, I took my dad up there. Uh, he and my mom had this scheduled to go visit my sister and her boys. Um, they had it scheduled for like a year, <laughs> and then my mom passed away. And so we didn't quite know what to do with this week that uh, she had taken off. The boys had no camp, and uh, they had already planned this week out to be with my mom and dad. Uh, so we just went up and it was hard you know at first because my dad was just feeling really sad that my mom wasn't there and there was a lot of crying and a lot of there was a lot of tears and but then there was just a lot of good times a lot of memories yeah. um we i just had a blast with those boys and uh i don't have grandkids of my own so um it and we don't have small children anymore of course yeah so. and, and she hadn't seen her sister you know for a long time before the funeral and then she got to visit with her sister and then it was perfect timing because of mm -hmm. her dad saying you know your mom and I were gonna go visit your sister and then Chris is mm -hmm. like I'll go so yeah. they did a road trip and I think it was good for Krista and her dad to to spend time together you know reminiscing talking and mm -hmm. just having a good father <clears throat> father daughter time and then when he gets there, then he's got two of the three daughters um, that he can visit and hang out with. It was, I think it was a blessing. I think it was really yeah, good. It was. And really creating good. new memories oh, yeah. was so important. And uh, that was our dog sneezing. Bless you, Duchess. <laughs> Bless you, Duchess. <laughs> and there's another cat meowing. And we forgot to turn the water off on the. Yeah, the let thing. me do that real quick. Because <laughs> be otherwise right back. it sounds pretty loud. So let him do that. Give it right just back. one minute. Ah, that helps because on the on the camera it almost sounds like static Sorry, guys, instead of like have, water. <laughs> I should have got that beforehand. Anyway, so now it's quiet. Yeah, we love our water. It it does kind of muffle the sound from around everything, the neighborhood. Everything around, yeah. 
Yeah, but on camera it kind of sounds like static a yeah. little bit. <laughs> so you had a good trip. You're back. Thank God she's back. I missed her. I like my wife yeah. here at home with me. You know, the best, I know it was important best for you thing guys about to a go. trip is that it makes your home feel more amazing. Like when you come home, you're like, oh, you know, you kind of get in a rut and you get sick and tired of, yeah. I don't know, just the day to day grind and cleaning and dishes and laundry and just all that kind of stuff. And you take some things for granted and then you leave and which was a great trip. But you have you don't have your own bed, you don't have your own all the little things, you know. Um, the comforts of home. Yeah, the comforts of home. And so when you come home, there's this oh, I'm home. Yeah. And that's what I feel like. Everything is like oh, even though the whole yard is overgrown and kind of a little out of control, we went through weeks of over a hundred degrees. So a lot of stuff is burnt. A lot of stuff. You did a great job. Uh, yeah, it was all watering. I could do to just keep watering after Water. I got home from a long day at work. Yeah, I just was happy that I just got everything watered. Yeah. You know, but even so. with that, we had some pest pressure. I'll I'll kind of take you around uh, to the garden and see what I'm going to be pulling out today. Yeah. Um, there's some stuff that's just like the heat got to it, the pests got to yeah, it. Yeah, you look in the vegetable garden, wow, what on <laughs> earth happened in here? Uh, it's a good thing. I mean, the plants just got extremely like the cucumbers and the zucchini just went nuts and which is good because now she's gonna have plenty of zucchini and cucumbers well my zucchini and i think tomatoes. i'm pulling out today because it it looks like the not the one on this one the other one on that side i have a zucchini isn't the cucumber on the left and the zucchini on the right it's pumpkin little pumpkins but <laughs> here's to not knowing my vegetables <laughs> I don't eat any, so why would I know anything about them? I'm like, if I have another zucchini, I'm wondering if okay, it's... Okay, so the pumpkins are doing good, yeah. the cucumbers are doing good, the zucchini is bit the dust. Bit the dust. So. I think it probably got, like, some kind of bug. We know when probably. we left, there was a bunch of bugs. The, uh, um, the elder bug? No. There was um, some spider mites uh, on what the... What bugs called? On the uh, peas, but then... Um, the squash bug. Box elder bugs. No, squash bugs. It's not a box elder bug? No. Those Jeez, are the I, little... <laughs> once again, I have no idea what pests get on vegetables. Because I, I don't, don't need any. Oh, boy. Oh. As long as you know what bugs are, we're good. It bugs me that you don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that was a dad joke. Came out of nowhere. I don't know. I just spent, wow, I spent over a week with my dad and That's the dad true. jokes. I can't stop now. <laughs> Anyway, but while I was gone, um, even though he had to take care of my dad's dog, our dog who got sick, um, took care of all these crazy cats, took care of um, my, you know, watering my dad's house a little bit, watering here, he still got more painting done and he actually finished that chimney. And the gray. Ch chimney? Ch chimney? No, don't start doing the song. <laughs> don't start doing the song. Um, so. Is that Mary Poppins? Yeah. Okay. Wow. I got that one right. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I finished the gray on the house. I have a little bit of gray touch ups to do, but nothing like, <clears throat> excuse me, nothing like what I ended up uh, originally having to do. Um, I just, while she was gone, I just, every day after work, I stayed out there till nine o'clock or till dark and at night and just painted until I couldn't see the wall. Um, and I'm just thankful, thank God, that it's done, other than the touch-ups, but I'm going to start the white now around the door and the windows, and uh, yeah. And then uh, black shutters, guys. I'm so yeah, excited. Yeah, then i got to paint the, the shutters. They're kind of like a just a three-wood piece with one or two little pieces going across, but with them black, it's going to make the front pop. It's just going to look good. Yeah. So I'm excited about getting those done, too. They're the original from 1958. Yeah, they were olive green. <laughs> Not when we had them. They painted no. white over top of them. Somebody but. painted them white, and then we found newspapers that were stuck to the back when they tried to mask off the wall to not get paint on the wall, ironically. And so when I pulled them off the wall, there was all these newspaper ads stuck to them, and prices from the 70s or 60s, whenever they... No, it had to have been the 70s, because they changed it from olive green, and then it was a different nasty like a reddish orange color and then it went white and now we're doing them black so once we're all done you'll see the front but mm -hmm. 
here at home, that's what we're doing. I'm really excited about what's coming, what we're going to be doing. We're gonna start doing other people's yards and especially the one guy from my work. I'm thrilled that yeah. he's okay with us jumping in and helping him get his yard to where he wants it so he has a little bit of peace and just joy in his yard, you know, where he can go out in the morning and just relax and enjoy it. Uh, we're gonna start with the very front by the street and then we're gonna work our way from the front of the house to the backyard. Uh, probably take us a year or more. Yeah, so we'll have lots of episodes. Lots of episodes, lots of uh, projects that we're gonna be doing for him, with him. Um, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's really, really exciting. So be looking for those videos. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy them. You know, um, I really like to help people. And yeah. Chris does the same way. We just, we like to help people and this is our opportunity to start doing that. So that's what you'll see on our channel is us going to other people's houses and helping them to get where they want to be. Yeah. As far as uh, what their yard, they want their yard to look like. We were waiting for the extreme heat to get past us. And we were also waiting for me to get back from my trip. Yeah. Um, so now that that's beh all behind us, um, we're ready to we might still roll. have a couple more weeks of some heat, but we're down into the 80s and maybe upper 80s. But... That's so much better than over Oh, yeah, 100. I'm ready to put my snowboarding coat on. No, I'm just <laughs> no. kidding. I'm kidding. No. No, but it's, what? It's nicer than 106, like, mm -hmm. two or three weeks ago. We were at 105, 106, 102. It was like, wow, it's toasty. Yeah, yeah it was hard to move. <laughs> so, yeah, so That's look for, for sure. that. We, I think one of the things I'm most excited about is that we didn't have the YouTube channel. We didn't even do anything YouTube when we started this yard eight years ago. Right. And there, when we walked out here, this patio uh, was just broken down a little bit. It had, I think, a big bee's nest. And, or it had a, wasp, a bird's nest. And it had a there. bird's nest. Yeah. And it uh, had a, the cement was all like chipped It was and just broken. all broken. It was shifted. And yeah. now we got all this, and it's and then just so much There was, like, hardly any grass. Like, the grass really wasn't alive, and there was not a bush or a plant around. Mm -mm. And uh, That was all dirt. Maybe I will try to kind of put a little picture or two in here of what our yard looked like. You but, probably should put it, like, on the side in this video right here, like right where we're talking about it. Yeah. I'll put that video, or I'll put that picture, a couple pictures up to show you. The before. Well, and the thing is, it was we, did, really bad. we didn't take a lot of pictures in the first year because it was so ugly I didn't really want to show anybody. <laughs> I didn't think about that I wanted to have a before, before and, after. and after. yeah. So some of our videos, or our pictures, are from like two years in when we had been working, working, working at it. Um, yeah. So, and they still are bare and blank <laughs> um, you're talking those pictures from before yeah 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 it's it's uh the yard is completely transformed and changed compared to what we had before there was no concrete court uh concrete curbing border around the backyard there was no patio not this tuscan style patio there was no pergola um yeah there was like nothing yeah it and was ridiculous. The, dirt, where the you know? studio was, it was brown, and it was just a broken down old garage. There was no window. It was all dark. Yeah. And we had just junk stored in it. Yeah. So, what I kind of missed was the fact that we didn't get to have a true transformation in our yard of where it came from. But now I'm so excited that we can do that in other people's yards. And help others. And get that before and after and the exciting, yeah. Yeah, and it kind of is like how, you know, the uh, there's a few um, guys that do uh, mowing for free. I'm sure you guys have seen them. One is uh, the Boring Channel, which, uh, He's a really awesome guy. And then Al Blades um, on his channel. I think it's Al Blades mowing or I think that's what he does. Just Al Blades, yeah. Yeah. So, and he's a really cool kid. And mm -hmm. between him and the other guy, the other guy I think is from Oklahoma and I think Al Blades is in Florida. But it's so neat to see their heart that they go out and help these people that maybe are um, handicapped or just... Um, on disability or can't hire somebody or they're about to get 
their yard ticketed by the city, you know, um, people complaining about their yard, and he goes through and revamps it. And we've seen so many episodes on Al, Al Blade's channel that they're just crying. They're so happy and thankful to him. And I think we want to mirror that with anything we do for people in their yard to make him, give them happiness and joy mm -hmm. where they can go out in the morning and just sit and just enjoy, you know, their yard. You know, um, we've been blessed and we want to pass that, pass that on, pay it forward, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's important and uh, I'm excited that we get mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah, I'm super I'm, I'm excited. I'm super pumped. So it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yep. And now with the cooler fall weather kind of headed in our direction, we'll have a little more oomph. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll be able to get a lot more done. Yeah. Yeah, because with the cooler weather, and even uh, my buddy at work, he even said that he'll be ready to help <laughs> <laughs> as soon when as it's we cooler when cool. we get to the fall because he doesn't like the heat, which I don't blame him. But we got the trees in his yard. You saw that video um, here last week or the week mm -hmm. before. Yeah. So, I mean, those trees are... Our poplars they're gonna grow fast and it's gonna give him really good shade mm -hmm. so his yard will be shade everywhere mm -hmm. it's gonna be so nice it's gonna be so nice I'm so excited yeah me too anyway. so we'll wrap up this part of the video I think I'll walk you around and show you what Jay actually got painted maybe you can take us around and show us what you're sure. working on and then maybe I'll show you my potager my vegetable garden and show you how uh, <laughs> overgrown it is and then I'm just gonna get in there and just get rid of it all <laughs> not all of it just uh, get rid of the dead stuff yeah, save some of the good stuff yeah I, got, <laughs> I still gotta <laughs> save some of the good stuff but anyway uh, we love you guys very much and sorry it's been a little bit uh, I did record video but uh, that was it <laughs> and then ran off on a on a crazy trip so okay well should we close it off now and then just run some footage and yeah Okay. Enjoy this next section of clips and uh, video. Till next time. <laughs> we love you guys. <laughs> See you guys. Jay, Krista, say I do forever. Uh, coming at you. <laughs> no, leaving now. Because <laughs> we got to go get stuff done. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> we obviously haven't See done this in a while. We're confused. <laughs> I'm just glad she's home. Oh, I'm glad to be home. <laughs> love you guys. <laughs> See you in the next video. Okay, let's go see what's accomplished and what still needs to be done. You can see it's very bright out here. Well, so yeah, it is very this, bright. I went from this edge, clear down. There's the chimney. It's done. That was down. the hard part. All of the lights speckles you can see on the wall is where I had to caulk where there was like a, like where bugs or wasps can get in so I sealed those all off I gotta wait for that to dry then I can go over and touch it up with the gray then that's done Chris and I were also talking about this white part we were thinking about leaving it white but then we decided to do it gray like the studio is um, I'll show a far away picture the gray goes clear up to the white just yeah the white eaves um, yeah and white fascia off it could it will make it look taller so we're going to do that i have to just do the windows no you can go forward i'm going backwards no i'm going backwards <laughs> no i'm going backwards <laughs> way you can see i still have to do across the top uh use a scraper on the the fascia soffit scrape that it's harsh light to be taking a picture of it but and, and it is what it is where the shutters are going to be next to the windows there'll be black and shutters still have to paint those yeah yeah, so. it looks good. Let me back up right here. Should be good. So you can see now it matches where the studio is too. Yeah. So it should be good. I'll go show the back and some of the my potager. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, coming back from my trip, things have grown insanely. Isn't it crazy how if you go on a trip, everything seems to like catapult into growth. Our grapevine is almost halfway across the pergola. 
and it has the most beautiful grapes and once again I am at the wrong time of day to be videoing but it is what it is And the grapevine that's not even supposed to be climbing on that arbor <laughs> has really gone insane. And I think it's taking it over. It's like Sleeping Beauty's castle. And the other thing was my vegetable garden went completely insane. Except for my poor sad zucchini I don't know if I'm even getting this because of the light I need to probably video this in the morning but so I'm not sure if a vine boar got it we don't really have vine boars where we're at that I've ever seen I don't know if it was the heat I don't, I'm not sure, but everything else, oh my goodness, seems to have gotten completely out of control. That, somewhere in there are some other plants, but that is a tomato. And the pumpkins are going all the way up to the top. And the grapevines have taken over the archway as well. Um, I emptied out the fountain while I was gone just so it wouldn't get all mucky. And the cucumbers have gotten really tall. And the tomatoes have actually gotten so big that they have caused <laughs> all the cages to fall over, stakes and all. But look at this tomato. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that. Look at how big that is. And I can't even get back there to the other one to look to see if there's anything ripened. So the heat has been good and bad. And everything has grown crazy. It's going to take over the house next. So, I also need to find my little seat. It's crazy. But anyway, that's a quick little tour of the yard. Now I have to do some cleanup today. Um, I need to clean up definitely the zucchini plant. Definitely the peas are going. I don't know that the bell peppers are doing anything, but the tomatoes sure are. So, I better get to uh, cleaning that up. I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you so much for following along. And we can't wait uh, till we start uh, the videos where we're actually doing other people's yard. We're excited. That should be starting soon. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone.